A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is general science, exercises, said 7b. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Where is the genetic system located in the prokaryotes? Letter A nucleoid Letter B chromatin Letter C nuclear material Letter D All of these Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D All of these the genetic system is located in the prokaryotes in a nucleoid, chromatin, and nuclear material. Genetic information in prokaryotic cells is carried on a single circular piece of DNA which is attached to the cell membrane and in direct contact with the cytoplasm. There is no enclosing membrane, so there is no true nucleus, but simply a concentration of DNA known as a nucleoid. Which is most likely to be exposed on the surface of a gram-negative bacterium? Letter A Phospholipids Letter B Lipotiochoic Acid Letter C Pore Protein, Porin Letter D Protein Involved in Energy Generation Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C poor protein, porin. The poor protein, porin, is most likely to be exposed on the surface of a gram-negative bacterium. Porins are beta-barrel proteins that cross a cellular membrane and act as a pore, through which molecules can diffuse. Unlike other membrane transport proteins, porins are large enough to allow passive diffusion, i.e., they act as channels that are specific to different types of molecules. What is the last step in the synthesis of peptidoglycan? Letter A Attachment of a peptide to muramic acid Letter B Binding of penicillin to a membrane protein Letter C Attaching two amino acids to form a cross-link Letter D Attachment of a portion of peptidoglycan to a membrane lipid Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C Attaching two amino acids to form a cross-link the last step in the synthesis of peptidoglycan is attaching two amino acids to form a cross-link. The biosynthesis of peptidoglycan is a complex process that involves C20 reactions that take place in the cytoplasm, synthesis of the nucleotide precursors, and on the inner side, synthesis of lipid-linked intermediates, and outer side, polymerization reactions, of the cytoplasmic membrane. What is included in cytoplasmic inclusions? Letter A ribosomes Letter B fat globules Letter C mesosomes Letter D All of these Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 
1. The correct answer is letter D. All of these cytoplasmic inclusions include ribosomes, mesosomes, and fat globules. The cytoplasm is a thick solution that fills each cell and encloses it by the cell membrane. All organelles in eukaryotic cells, such as the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, and mitochondria, are located in the cytoplasm. The portion of the cytoplasm does not contain in the organelles is called the cytosol. The cocci are which form a bunch and irregular pattern? Letter A diplococci. Letter B tetracoxi. Letter C streptococci. Letter D staphylococci. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D staphylococci. The cocci which form a bunch and irregular pattern are staphylococci. A coccus, plural cocci, is any bacterium or archaean that has a spherical, ovoid, or generally round shape. Bacteria are categorized based on their shapes into three classes, cocci, spherical shaped, bacillus, rod shaped, and spirochets, spiral shaped, cells. What phenomenon is chemotaxis? Letter A swimming away of bacteria. Letter B swimming towards a bacteria. Letter C swimming away or towards bacteria presence of a chemical compound. Letter D. None of the above. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter C swimming away or towards bacteria presence of a chemical compound. Chemotaxis is a phenomenon of swimming away or towards bacteria presence of a chemical compound. Chemotaxis is the directed migration of cells in response to concentration gradients of extracellular signals. In unicellular organisms, such as bacteria and amoebae, Chemotaxis is frequently used as a foraging mechanism. What is the structure responsible for the motility of bacteria? Letter A pili. Letter B sheath. Letter C flagella. Letter D capsules. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C flagella. The structure responsible for the motility of bacteria is flagella. Flagellum, plural flagella, a hair-like structure that acts primarily as an organelle of locomotion in the cells of many living organisms. Flagella motion causes water currents necessary for respiration and circulation in sponges and coelenterates. Most modal bacteria move to utilize flagella. What is the next to last step in peptidoglycan biosynthesis? Letter A synthesis of the nonpeptide subunit. Letter B removal of the subunit from bactoprenol. Letter C cross-linking the peptide side chains of peptidoglycan. Letter D linking the sugar of the disaccharide peptide unit to the growing peptidoglycan chain. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter D linking the sugar of the disaccharide peptide unit to the growing peptidoglycan chain. The next to last step in peptidoglycan biosynthesis is linking the sugar of the disaccharide peptide unit to the growing peptidoglycan chain. 
The biosynthesis of peptidoglycan is a complex process that involves C20, reactions that take place in the cytoplasm, synthesis of the nucleotide precursors, and on the inner side, synthesis of lipid-linked intermediates, and outer side, polymerization reactions, of the cytoplasmic membrane. Which of the following is the form chain of cocci? Letter A tetracoxi. Letter B diplococci. Letter C streptococci. Letter D staphylococci. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter C streptococci. The cocci which form a chain is streptococci. Streptococci are gram-positive aerobic organisms that cause many disorders, including pharyngitis, pneumonia, wound and skin infections, sepsis, and endocarditis. Symptoms vary with the organ infected. Sequelae of infections due to group of beta-hemolytic streptococci may include rheumatic fever and glomerulonephritis. What is the arrangement, in which flagella are distributed all around the bacterial cell? Letter A Peritricus Letter B Monotricus Letter C Amphitricus Letter D Lophitricus Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter A peritricus. The arrangement, in which flagella are distributed all around the bacterial cell, is known as peritricus. Peritricus is having flagella, tail-like projections, all over its surface. An example of peritricus is a bacteria with flagella projections distributed all over the body surface. Biology, having flagella around the body or around the mouth. What is periplasm? Letter A the interior portion of mitochondria. Letter B the area outside the cell membrane that is influenced by the polymers. Letter C the area between the inner and outer membranes of gram-negative bacteria. Letter D the area between the inner and outer membranes of gram-positive bacteria. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter A the area between the inner and outer membranes of gram-negative bacteria. Periplasm is the area between the inner and outer membranes of gram-negative bacteria. Peritricus is having flagella, tail-like projections, all over its surface. An example of peritricus is a bacteria with flagella projections distributed all over the body surface. Biology, having flagella around the body or around the mouth. Which of the following has peptidoglycan as a major constituent of the cell wall? Letter A Fungi Letter B Gram-positive bacteria Letter C Gram-negative bacteria Letter D None of these. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B gram-positive bacteria. Among the following, the gram-positive bacteria have peptidoglycan as a major constituent of the cell wall. Gram-positive bacteria are bacteria classified by the color they turn in the staining method. Hans Christian Gram developed the staining method in 1884. The staining method uses crystal violet dye, 
which is retained by the thick peptidoglycan cell wall found in gram-positive organisms. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new about our topic on general science, exercises, said 7b. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ban YouTube channel.